go fish. I work in a medium-sized tech company. IT securely periodically send out fake phishing emails and if you click the links you get enrolled in phishing awareness courses. All of this is quite sensible. However, IT also send round emails which are very fishy. They'll come from an odd sender, trying to instill a sense of urgency, often asking you to do some odd thing with your computer, install this software and ignore the warning. Click on the link to this external site. Here's the malicious compliance. I'm pretty sure when it is an IT email. But as it's asking me to do things that are warned against in the phishing training I'll always report as suspicions. I have a feeling it's not just me. Now any time IT send such an email they prior warn us in Slack. Highlighting it's a real email and asking us not to report. Hey IT guy, I think some fishers hacked your Slack account. Speaking as an IT engineer and trainer, with no sarcasm, here's the malicious compliance. I'm pretty sure when it is an IT email, but as it's asking me to do things that are warned against in the phishing training I'll always report as suspicions. Excellent. Keep doing that please. If we send out something that looks like p phishing then we've failed to communicate properly. Report the message so we can write the next one better. Here's a fun note. In my company, and I am sure in at least some others, these phishing test emails include the string, phishing, in the header. It's not readily visible, but you can see it if you look at the properties of the message. There's also a way to set up an Outlook rule based on the header contents which means you can filter those messages into a folder. I get a brownie point when I forward them to the correct group. I've gone from not even noticing those emails to a 100% kill rate. I got caught once cause the happened to test me on my second week where I had no clue what was going on and was still learning. Now I mark a lot of emails as phishing. They likely haven't tested in the years since but I mark the majority of emails as phishing just to be sure. Many years ago they rolled out mandatory phishing training at my work. A bunch of us reported the email announcing it. And when IT got upset at that, we pointing out all the things in the email that were fishy, with screenshots from the training itself. Link to a dubious sounding external site I've never heard of? Check. False sense of urgency. Complete this or we lock you out of exchange next week. Check. Sender I don't normally interact with. Some obscure mailing list inside the company. But the training pointed out sender spoofing is a thing. Check. Then they started doing the random test campaigns. Except the service they used slapped a header along the lines of X threat simulate into every single email. So we had an Outlook rule delete them sight unseen for a few more years before that got fixed. My last job did the same thing. I've always been cautious. But I really ramped that up after I noticed their new IT policy said that people who fell for the phishing tests would be subjected to additional training. Given how asinine and unsuitable their training videos, I'd rather like to avoid that. Seriously. Did IT even watch the videos they chose? A strictly US company doesn't need training on the GDPR. And half the videos mention levels of data management bureaucracy we don't have. Fortunately, I don't really need to interact with many people. So I've just started ignoring all their emails. Oh, the department wants to send us a survey? Nope. The department wants volunteers for a committee? Sounds suspicious. RSVP for the potluck? Ha ha. No. Try out our new password manager? I'm not falling for it. You scammers. I've also noticed their phishing tests still have the default header information from KB4. As you can't normally make a filter based upon metadata. So I coded a Google Apps script email filter to filter their phishing emails. 
The company I work at pays no B4 inches to send us training and phishing emails. My Outlook is set up to automatically delete any email with no B4 inches anywhere in the header. I haven't had a phishing attempt on my email since the first one they sent. I also do not get the training emails either. When prompted as to why I haven't done the training, I remind them that the company they use is now a known fisher, so the email doesn't hit my account. If you want me to go to an external site to do some training, you need to send that email yourself or from a safe company address. I accept emails from our own internal mail server, the single domain my customer uses, and ADP, payroll. There's no reason for any other possible emails to hit my mailbox. If your company is employing some third party to do phishing tests, then your IT department needs to take a long look in the mirror and ask how those messages are penetrating your mail server in the first place. Good mail security practices should eliminate 99.99% of phishing attempts and good firewall proxy configuration should eliminate the other 0.01% that get through. The emails our trainer at work sends out often have three or four of the hallmarks of phishing. Generic wording, grammar and spelling errors, and sense of urgency are pretty typical. Please complete the training in the included link by Cobb today. Not today. Random phishing person. Not today. Here's the malicious compliance. I'm pretty sure when it is an IT email. But as it's asking me to do things that are warned against in the phishing training I'll always report as suspicions. As an ITSEC bot, I salute you. Ya yeah, done good. If ITSEC in your place wanna play silly buggers, then sure, let's play. My tech team is a bunch of social engineering evil geniuses. I mentioned at a happy hour that my dad doesn't like using personal emails to send gift cards. Because he thinks work emails are more secure. He also always sends me a $50 gift card on my birthday since he's always traveling and we catch up. When we can. So. I get an email from my dad's name on my birthday for an Amazon gift card and. It's a phishing email. Dudeman either remembered a story from months ago at a happy hour. Or set it up months in advance to get me. Their new favorite is sending you an email titled to your boss from your boss's boss. Last one I heard of asked the boss's name to review the payroll budget for the next quarter with an embedded link. Apparently, this one gets a lot of people. This is the exact opposite of malicious compliance. You are ignoring a request for a helpful reason. This is benevolent defiance. I regularly report emails from our top brass as phishing when I think what they are saying is dumb. No one has ever contacted me to tell me to stop. We now have the automatic spam report in Outlook. Report a fish and you will never see that sender again. Oops. In our company when they do that and we report a phishing, suspicious email they reply with. Congratulations. However, IT also send round emails which are very fishy. They'll come from an odd sender. Trying to instill a sense of urgency. Often asking you to do some odd thing with your computer. Install this software and ignore the warning. Click on the link to this external site. If they are sending stuff like that from anything other than the official company IT email address, they should be put into training themselves. I'd keep reporting them until they come to your workstation and install it themselves. Sounds like something a hacker would say. Would be my reply. I run into that at my current job. Sometimes it is hard to tell if it is phishing or actual correspondence. If I have any doubt I just report it as phishing and go on with my day. Since I am in IT it would be worse for me to click on the link and it be a phishing test then. Assume it is just a badly worded email from yet another source that we should have been told about. 
I was asked to stop doing this by IT management to my management. Suck IT. This is super common. You're definitely not the only one. People are always screwing with the IT department this way. Everything you folks send me looks suspicious. I used to work at an email security company. They did this all the time. Teams. Yuck. Would be filled with, did you get this one? What do you think? Quote. Half the team would report it. The other half would take the links to our sandbox machines and try it. Drove IT nuts. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Heracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.